What would your business look like if you were to do the complete opposite of what you've been doing so far? I know it sounds crazy. So just, just hear me out for a second, okay? Because the concept of what I want to introduce to you is something that can really help you with making better decisions and especially in situations where you're not able to see other ways of doing things and you just keep going and going and going, not getting the results that you want, getting frustrated with the situation and needing something to resolve that. So the first time I was introduced to that concept was on a Tim Ferriss show. He was sharing that this is one of the questions that he normally uses. What would this look like if I would do the opposite of what I've been doing so far? And what I like about the concept is that it's not always that the opposite is the solution. But by asking a question like that, when we are stuck with action that we took that is not yielding result, a strategy that we try that doesn't yield results. So for example, it could be your social media strategy. It could be your other sales strategy. It could be your business model strategy. And you, you're doing the right things, or at least from what you know, from what you've seen, from what you research, you are doing the right things, but the results are not there. When that happened, and you ask yourself, what would this look like if I would do the opposite? What can happen is that it will pull you out of that space. So instead of being in that space where we're doing things over and over again, not getting results, getting frustrated, starting to think that we might need to go faster, we might need to go stronger at it. Many times it just getting pulled out of it and looking at things from the outside, opening our mind to the fact that there might be other possibilities, that there might be other solutions, to really expose ourselves to other things is where the solution is. Now, it doesn't mean that the opposite way is the solution, but again, that concept, what it can do to us is we are exploring the opposite option. We might find that this is, yeah, we're right. This is not the right way. But on your way back, going back to the way that you've been doing things, you might find something along the way in between these two extremes that works better. Because now when you pulled yourself out of the situation, your mind is unlocked. You're allowing yourself to see other possibilities. You're giving yourself the permission to explore other things, even if it's just theoretically, even if it's just conceptually, but it opens the door. And in many of these cases, you might discover something that you just didn't see when you were in it. Now, even if you haven't discovered anything else and you went back to the way that you've been doing things, there's a value there as well, because now you know that this is the right way. You know that you explored and looked outside of that to see if there's other ways to do it, yet you decided that how you've been doing things is the right way. And that gives another layer of confidence. That gives another layer of purpose. And when we go about things without having that thoughts about, or doubts, I should say, that maybe there is something better, we are more committed, and the results are better.